Time now for our misses of the year. Dan, first to you. Well, I'm giving mine to Lance Armstrong, uh, who admitted that he had been uh, blood doping and using other techniques to win all those tours to France. I mean, this really re-raises the issue of cheating in sports. In uh, August, Major League Baseball suspended not only Alex Rodriguez, but 12 other players for essentially the same reason. The sad thing about this, Paul, is I think it calls into question the credibility of professional athletic performance. It's a great thing to watch, but you have to be worried when you're saying, I don't know if it's real. Do you uh, have any sports heroes, uh, Big Pappy of the Red Sox or my favorite Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers? <laughs> I love Big Pappy. As far as Aaron Rodgers goes, I don't know. He's not going to win another Super Bowl this year. So, uh, We're going to combo back in the NFL. Yeah, Cowboys right. fan. Okay, uh, 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 Dorothy. All right. Uh, my, my big uh, misses to all of the supporters and protectors of uh, Mr. Snowden, all of which are multiplying ferociously all over the place. Uh, they include, of course, last uh, Barbara Walters, who made him one of the most fascinating people of the year, not the most. Uh, and this is her last broadcast, and not a moment too soon. And also, uh, it was Tom Friedman who announced with a great ounce of discovery that he was a whistleblower. Well, thanks. That explains everything, Tom. Dorothy just got herself a lot of invitations to media <laughs> parties going into 2014. Uh, Mary? My miss for 2013 is the rise of left-wing populism in this country. And I think most clearly exhibited by the election of the new mayor in New York City, uh, Mayor de Blasio, uh, not only because of what it means for New York, but for what it means more broadly about how the electorate uh, seems to fall for these kind of populist promises and, uh, and what that means to our freedom. I think the only good news is that um, now we have a lot to write about with the Sandinista mayor. You think this is the direction the Democrats are going to go as faith in government, confidence in government falls, and uh, they're going to need a new theme for the 2014 election? Is this going to be the big theme? Well, as we know, eventually these promises run out of gas. But um, until that happens, I think we, we, have, uh, we suffer a lot, and we're seeing that right now with Obamacare. Okay. James? Uh, this is a miss to outgoing Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke for continuing this year to buy another trillion dollars of treasuries and mortgage-backed securities, essentially uh, creating money, forcing it out into the, into the economy. Uh, the financial crisis was five years ago. It's been years since the uh, recession ended. Uh, and now uh, we have this uh, real distortion of prices, and I think eventually there will be a reckoning. You put any more uh, confidence in Janet Yellen, the new uh, Fed no, chairman, will take no over more at the beginning confidence. of the year? No more confidence. So do, you think the, do you think that there's going to be easing as far as the eye can see here? Well, this uh, baby step of just uh, cutting back by $10 billion a month uh, when the markets uh, really were ready for more. They were ready for more uh, last summer when uh, Ben Bernanke did his head fake. And uh, I think it's time for uh, government to step back, step back and, and let markets run. Short uh, summary, Freeman is long for going into 2014. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right. My miss goes to the Republicans who engineered the government shutdown in the name of a goal they couldn't achieve, defunding Obamacare. They hurt their party image and they reduced whatever leverage they had in the budget negotiations. And now they've divided their party when they need to be unified going into 2014. We called them kamikazes before the showdown. And that may have been unfair to kamikazes, who at least were fighting the enemy. <laughs> the shutdown leaders took out their own ships. So, uh, anybody... <laughs> <laughs> so neither party looks to be in fabulous shape going into 2014. So which one is going to show some upside next year is my question. Well, if the Republicans can avoid uh, another calamity on the budget or the debt ceiling, I think you've got to give them the momentum here because you've got Obamacare. And if they focus on Obamacare, rather, you know, criticizing it, offering constructive reforms, not doing something that is unachievable. Look, we all support the defunding of Obamacare. Everybody at this table certainly does. And we have in the newspaper since, well, going back 25 years, we yeah. oppose this. Hillary kind of care. Thing. Right. Hillary care. But, it's, but you know, it's a question of what is achievable and what will the American people listen to. And I think a critique that offers real solutions for the individual insurance needs of, 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 of Americans is going to succeed. I, I think a, a number of Republican pickups in the Senate is also achievable next year. All right. If you have your own hit or miss from the year, be sure to tweet us at JER on FNC.